guys, Amanda Nelson here, I'm the Managing Editor of Book Riot, and for this week's reader question, I want to know what's the best book you read this summer? So summer's winding down, and I want to know what is the best book that you've read these last couple of months? Mine would have to be Science Preceding the End of the World by Yuri Herrera. I don't even know if you would call this a novel, it's probably a novella, it's only hundred and like, it's only like a hundred pages long, and then there's another couple of pages for the translator's note. Lisa Dillman translates this. It's a, so it's a super short novel, novella, whatever. Uh, about a young Mexican girl who leaves her village and crosses over into the U.S. looking for her brother. Uh, she's going for two reasons. One, to find her brother, and two, to deliver uh, a package for a kind of mob boss, like an underworld boss uh, in Mexico. So it's ostensibly about a young girl illegally crossing over into the U.S. in search of her family members, but it's really about what that crossing means to the way that you think, and the way that you speak, there's a lot of stuff in here about language and how you have to think differently when you're going to a place where people don't speak the same language that you do or that you learned to think in, if that makes sense. It's also got kind of like an underworld feel to it, almost a fantasy feel to it. I don't mean underworld like crime, I mean underworld like Hades kind of underworld. Um, when she's crossing over into America, she crosses a river, which feels a lot like the River Styx. She's always in dark places and talking to really mysterious, ghostly kind of figures. It's just really strange. Um, it's strange the character is competent and capable and gets, like, she gets shot and just walks it off like it's nothing. She's totally badass. And it's so humanizing of a group of people that in America we often look at with disdain or without any empathy, especially now in this kind of political climate. So I really loved this book. I actually just read it and I went back and looked over all the books that I have read since June because I keep a spreadsheet and it, this was still like there's no competition. Best book I read this summer. So let me know your pick in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys later.